Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Let's say you have visited a Wikipedia page or some page on the internet where you have got a table. And then suddenly you thought, you know what, it is a great idea if I can export this into a CSV or if I can make a nice visual chart out of it. What would you do? You would copy this table, go to Google Sheet, paste it, export it as CSV or make a nice chart. Then you have got to do a lot of formatting as well. But what if I told you that you don't have to do any of those things so you can simply use Google Sheet to scrape this table out of this Wikipedia page or any HTML table on the internet? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate in this video where you're going to use Google Sheet. Um, if you've got Excel, you have a different way to do it. But if you've got Google Sheet, you're going to learn how to scrape HTML table using Google Sheet, just using a simple Google Sheet function. Let's get started. The first thing is, Copy the URL where you want to copy a table and then please make a note. What is the What is the order of the table? Like for example, in my case, I think this would be probably the first table and this could be the second table. Just, just, just keep that in your mind. So first copy the URL, then go to Google sheet and then say equal to import HTML. So when you type this, you would probably see something like this import HTML imports data from table list in an HTML page tab to accept. The first argument that you have to give is the URL and then the next argument is you have to say whether you want a table or a list. In our case, we want a table. So table and then the third argument is what is the position of the table starting from one index one. So if you want the first table, say one, if you want the second table, say two. So I want the first table and what is the local like if you have got a different language, then you have to specify that if you do not have it, then close it. Now press enter and magically your table exists here so our first table here is this one probably the second table is this so let's check let's go back to this one and then say uh, click the same cell where you have got the formula and then say instead of the first table give me the second table and then you can now see that you have got the second table which is exactly this table and i'm you know i'm, I'm happy with the first table and second table let's say i want um, I want something down the line. So that is probably like four, five, okay, four, five, six. So I'm going to say five and see what is going to come. Five, okay, exactly. I got the table that I wanted. Now all I have to do is I can export this as a CSV. I can download this as a CSV, right? And then use it in any tool like Python, like Pandas or anything you want. Or I can just make a nice visualization I want here. So I can go here, make a chart, um, you know, pie chart is a terrible visualization and then, you know, share it on the internet. You can, you can do all those things. And now I'm going to show you also that if you have a different language, what you have to do. So I'm going to just quickly go here and then delete this so that you get to know what is the function. So I'm going to go here, click this, and then you can click this and then it's going to say what you have to do. So help so you can see here import html the first argument is url the second argument is the query the third argument is index and the fourth argument is local so you can see the details in here so first is the url that you want to mention which could be anything an html page that has got an html table just make sure that your table is an html table like a lot of times you would see that the table is made of div that may not work well. So here you can see that this has got an HTML table tag. Just you have to just make sure that then the 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 query, which is a list or a table and the index starting one and the local like English US English water. So let's say now we knew how to extract the table. But what what you don't want is you don't want all the tables. Maybe you want to um, imagine like you're writing a SQL query from a table. You want to query a particular section of this table what do you do so you can go here and then enclose this formula with another one called query and then say what is a query that you want to write so i want to say select call one call two and um, close it and then close it and then you can see that i've got the first column i've got the second column you know it doesn't make sense this one as first column so i can say call two comma call three and you can get it so if you, for example, if you want to get some uh, some details about it, in this case, let's say sum of call three and and then you can you can get so you can do everything that you do with using SQL here using this query section. So 
one you can extract the table two you can also perform queries on it let me quickly show you another example of how we can query it let's go back to our wikipedia page and then say where do we have another table so we have uh, we have a table here that says world populace which is the first column and um, do we have anything else that has country related details okay let's say we have got we have got this this data that says population area density so i would assume that this is this is somewhat around um, uh, seventh or eighth table so i'm going to go here and then say eight and then wait for the result okay this is okay seven um okay so we have got country population area kilometers let's say now what i can do is i can say that i want only the column b and column c and i want okay let's say column d as well and i want a new metric where i divide something by this so i can say um i want call two call three call four and then i can say call four divided by call five and then i can save it and then you can see that i've got two here and then i've got a new column where one column is divided by another column which is the area um, density and you know something is divided by something so or, or i can say call four divided by call one and then you can also see something is divided by something so basically whatever you do on sql like aggregate function for example you can click here and then see you can run aggregate function do pivot like whatever you want to do with sql which in this case uses um the google um visualization api so you can you can do all those things but bottom line is you can do html scraping you can do querying which is in this case subsetting filtering grouping by completely on google sheet you don't need an external tool for that you don't have to copy paste it i hope this video was helpful to you in understanding how you can uh, scrape html tables from a web from a web page simply using google sheet any comments let me know in the comment section otherwise happy programming peace